In today's video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble an HP Envy 17T-AE100 laptop. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is flip it over on its back. For this, you're gonna need something besides your standard screwdriver. I'm using a T5 Torx bit for these bottom screws over here and over here. If you try to use a regular screwdriver with this, you're going to strip them out and then you won't be able to take your laptop apart again. So once you get these Torx screws out, you've got this plastic strip here, but the other strip at the top of the laptop is the one that has screws underneath it. So you want to flip it over, take something sharp and flat, flathead screwdriver or a butter knife or anything like that will work. And then slowly peel this away because you have other screws underneath here. And just very gently peel it off. And here you've just got regular Phillips head screws, three of them. If you need these specialized Torx bits and stuff, this little kit at Walmart was $15, I think. Comes with a magnetizer, two uh, plastic pry bars, Torx bits, screwdrivers, flathead and Phillips head, um, interchangeable bits. So it's really fantastic. And there's not a whole lot of places you're gonna find bits as low as a T2 anywhere local. So yeah, for 15 bucks at Walmart, it's not bad. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check them out. Now we got all of our screws out. So I take my little plastic and I work around the edges until the back cover comes off. I've found that to get it started, the easiest way, because these are usually pretty factory tight, get back here and kind of pry it up like that. You see how it snapped up a little bit? Now you can get your tool underneath the back cover and just work it around until you get it completely separated. And as you can see, the further along you go, the weaker the cover gets. And eventually you'll be able to go all the way around and it will just lift right off. Just like that. And just work your way around it. Sometimes it takes a little work, but eventually you'll get it and it'll all pop off. And at that point you can remove your back cover so before you get too far in depth, you want to remove the battery. And there should be seven screws here. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then two up here. So let's go ahead and remove those. There's the battery, take it out, set it aside. And the next thing we've got is our hard drive. And we're just gonna take a little flathead screwdriver, lift it right up, it's not even screwed down. And just remove the SATA cable, like that. Next up is the M.2 SSD. So it's just got one screw right here. And just very gently remove that. And as you can see, it flips up. You just literally pull it right out. And of course, if you want to upgrade, this is a super easy upgrade. And next up is the DVD drive. We've got three screws, one back here, one right here, and we've got another one right here. 
So you remove those three screws, lift this cable here, and the DVD drive just lifts right out. So next item on the agenda is going to be the processor fan. We've got some cables here that are routed underneath these little notches. Just have to remove those. The next thing you want to remove is the cooling system for the processor and the exhaust fan. You have eight screws, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. They're not completely set down. They just snap in a little bit. So once you get them a little loose, you can just lift that part right out. Now you don't want to leave this part off too long because you've got thermal paste on your processor and video card. So you don't want that to dry out. So turn that this way when you lay it down so you don't get thermal paste everywhere so now it is time to remove the motherboard now before we do that we're gonna have a series of connectors that are plugging into it we want to remove all of these I'm gonna remove the Wi-Fi adapter You can remove the memory chips if you want. I don't need to, but if you want to, you just pop these clips, memory pops right out. So that's how you would replace memory if you needed to. And you've got some connectors over here. Just, just pull them out gently. pop these ZIF connectors up and these connectors slide right out. This is your video cable. You want to be a little more careful with this one. Otherwise, it's going to be a real headache to replace it. Use a piece of plastic to pull the nylon tape off. And just slide it out like that. You got this connector here. Yeah. Motherboard has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Looks like eight screws holding it in. This part right here is part of the hinge assembly. You're going to want to undo these screws first because they are holding the motherboard down and you won't be able to get the board out with these screwed in. Now you can remove this piece right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this hinge screw. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the remaining screws that hold the motherboard assembly together. There's one. Four. Got the one here in the corner, right here. And 
once you get those done, you literally can lift your motherboard, clean out of the system. Okay, so at this point, the machine is completely gutted. The only thing left that you might want to remove is the LCD screen. And if you recall, we already took the hinges off the other side. You would remove these screws right here, which attach the LCD assembly to the main board. Other than that, you are done with the disassembly. So if this video helped you at all, make sure you click on the like button. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave any comments down below. If you have a particular request or a video you'd like me to make, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. Check out my community tab and we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more disassembly videos, click on the playlist on your left. For Windows tips, tricks, and more, click the playlist on your right.